Today is Labor Day, of course, which means it's your last chance to wear white. That's according to an old fashioned rule. But is that rule still relevant? To help us figure out that question, we've invited Beth Garrett, the owner of Elevating Your Image, into our studio today. Beth, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is something that I feel like I've known since I was a kid. That everybody's always talked about it. You can only wear white in the spring, in the summer, up mm -hmm. until Labor Day. Um, but first, tell us a little bit about yourself. You are a certified image consultant. What, yes. what do you do? Uh, well, I normally work with women and men to show them what uh, the right colors are to wear based on their specific coloring, the right mm -hmm. styles for their body type, um, the right cosmetic shades also based on your coloring, and I help with like wardrobe audits and shopping, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> if you find someone who needs some shopping. Oh, that's so help. fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what a great job. So let's talk about the big question. Sure. Is wearing white after Labor Day okay? You know, I think it, uh, in this day and time, just about anything goes. Yeah. But I still think there's a certain segment of our population, like you mentioned when you grew up hearing it, I did too. There's a lot of people that still practice practice it. Yeah. Um, so or practice not wearing it. But you know, I think if it's something you really want to wear and it makes you feel good, I mm -hmm. think it's fine to do so. But I've actually went into a couple of people recently who goes, oh, I've got to hurry and wear this because Labor Day is coming. <laughs> so it, it, it's still there. Yeah. Uh, I just don't know that people take it as seriously as they used to. Yeah. Uh, See, so the origin of it, uh, it seems that if it, this uh, fashion rule came about somewhere around the early 1900s and oh, wow. as I was sharing with you it's like what I was reading is that the uh, the wealthy elite from old money right. uh, were upset that they had a bunch of uh, newcomers with new money mm -hmm. and they wanted to differentiate themselves and they started wearing oh. white as a way to do that well then they could travel in the winter and um, fall so therefore they would go somewhere out of the city where it was warmer and that white was more appropriate to wear right and then the others who stayed in the city uh, wore dark colors uh, from uh, Labor Day to I guess Easter now it's what the deadline is yeah but also it was a practicality issue because by then there weren't street there weren't paved streets or sidewalks mm -hmm. and wearing white it got with, with the mud dirty. and the dirt and the snow yeah. got dirty it was very hard so they actually kind of gave it up for those months because of that reason and do you think that you know style of the clothes and the the fabric can play a role as well because you know there's they, they make a lot of like beautiful yes. jackets and things mm -hmm. like that made out of wool that are very wintry yes in white colors mm -hmm. and to me I think that's fine but I wouldn't wear like a white linen dress in right. the winter time like a, a jean a denim jacket is probably timeless right in white and of course traditionally most people kind of have switched to off-white or winter white yeah. after Labor Day um, but as I was sharing uh, with you, uh, it's kind of interesting. This year, uh, we get a fashion pass when it comes to Ooh, wearing white. Love that. Uh, for those of you familiar with Pantone, it's the color institution that comes out two times a year and says, thou shalt wear these colors this season. <laughs> yes. Well, this season for fall and winter, uh, it's interesting. You have lucent white, which is pure white, wow. actually listed as a main color. Usually that's a neutral, yeah. which is, uh, but also they've given us a swan white. Okay. Which is a little bit. A little more uh, Yeah, it is. So actually, so if you want to wear white, then you get a free pass. You can do it all white you want. White is in, <laughs> is what it sounds it is. like. Uh, this past spring, uh, head to toe white was actually a very popular yes. in look. Mm -hmm. So white, you can get away with it now. So wear, if you like it, wear it. So winter white is in. I love that. I guess it we're going to have to go shopping. The question is, is white a good color for everyone? Oh, pure white <laughs> is not exactly the best color for every person. Yeah. Uh, I think sometimes when you have a tan, uh, it actually can help you wear it if you're not one of those people that it looks that great on. Yeah. I personally, uh, I am. I have a lot of yellow undertones in my skin, so mm -hmm. white is not my best color. So usually, if you have pink or undertones in your skin, it's a better color for you. Yeah. But you can always wear it if you wear if you think it washes you out. Wear it with a brighter color. Right. Right. Uh, or wear uh, more like kind of like what you're wearing yes. more of an ivory. Can that exactly. help if you don't have that type of skin tone? Exactly. Yeah. All right, exactly. Beth. Well, Just have fun. We love the fashion advice. Thank you so much. You're that, welcome. Getting everybody ready for fall and winter. That's Beth's information if you're interested mm -hmm. in looking her up or using her services. Thank you again for being here and happy Labor Day. You too. My pleasure. <laughs>